On the 20 slides shown below, I present the original photographs of the Second World War from the German archive, which are in my collection. These photos are from my collection department, Wehrmacht on the Eastern and Western Fronts. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube, like it, so you don't miss the new weekly presentations. If you would like to order 5 inches by 7 inches copies of these photos from the original, you can specify which photos you would like to receive. Laboratory quality. Enjoy your viewing. Eduard Maria Joseph Ritter von Schleich, the 9th of August 1888, the 15th of November 1947, born Schleich, was a high-scoring Bavarian flying ace of the First World War. He was credited with 35 aerial victories at the end of the war. During the Second World War he served in the Luftwaffe as a general. Nickname, the Black Knight. As a general major, Schleich became the commander of the fighter pilot school, Jagdfliegerschule 5, at the Ennischfchat, Nazi-occupied Austria, in December 1939. In late 1940 he was sent to Romania as part of the Luftwaffe mission, assisting in the organization and training of the Romanian Air Force. In mid-1941, Schleich became commander of the occupation forces in Denmark, remaining nearly two and a half years there. On 29 August 1943, as the Germans launched Operation Safari to disarm the Danish military, von Schleich commanded the attack on Sorgenfree Palace, a royal residence in the Copenhagen suburbs, resulting in a firefight and the death of seven Germans. Schleich's final assignment was Luftwaffe Ground Forces Commander in Norway, a post he held until late 1944. The regional command was disbanded in September, nine months after he arrived. Placed onto the reserve list in mid-November, Schleich eventually retired as a gainer alloytnant. Eduard Ritter von Schleich died on 15 November 1947, aged 59 years, from a heart condition. Schleich was buried in Dieschenau Mamasi, near Munich. Wilhelm Hugo Speller, the 7th of February 1885, the 2nd of April 1953, also known as Hugo Speller, was a German military aviator in World War I and a general felt marshal in the Luftwaffe during World War II. Speller was captured by the Allies and charged with war crimes in the High Command trial at the subsequent Nuremberg trials but was acquitted. He was again acquitted in June 1949 following a second hearing before a court in Munich. The court concluded that Speller had never been a member of the Nazi party nor one of its affiliate organizations. After the war, he lived quietly and died in Munich on 2 April 1953. He was buried at the village cemetery in Tining, Bavaria. Joachim Friedrich Huth, the 31st of July 1896, the 27th of March 1962, was a German general in the Luftwaffe during World War II and the Air Force of the Bundeswehr in West Germany. Huth retired from the military service in 1961 holding the rank of Generalleutnant. With Adolf Hitler's rise to power and the remilitarization of Germany, Huth re-entered the military service of the Luftwaffe on 1 March 1934, holding the rank of Hauptmann. He became the Jeschwader Commodore of the Zerschuregeschwader 26 horsed vessel. Huth earned the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on the 11th of September 1940 in this position for the successful leadership of his fighter wing in the Battle of France and Battle of Britain. Huth commanded various fighter divisions from 1942 until 1944 before taking command of the one. Jagged Corps, 1st Fighter Corps, on 26 January 1945. He held this position until the end of the war, when he was taken prisoner by the British forces. He was released in 1946. In 1956, Huth joined the Bundeswehr after the remilitarization of the Federal Republic of Germany, holding the rank of Generalmajor. He led the Luftwaffe school at Fustinfeldbruck and, until his retirement. Joachim Munchberg, the 31st of December 1918, the 23rd of March 1943, 
was a German Luftwaffe fighter pilot during World War II and an ace credited with 135 air victories. The majority of his victories were claimed over the Western Front, with 33 claims over the Eastern Front. Of his 102 aerial victories achieved over the Western Allies, 46 were against Supermarine Spitfire fighters. Born in Friedrichsdorf, Prussia, now in Poland, Munchberg volunteered for military service in the Wehrmacht of Nazi Germany in 1936. Initially serving in the army, he transferred to the Luftwaffe, Air Force, in 1938. Following flight training, he was posted to Jagdgeschwader 234, JG 234, 234th Fighter Wing, in October 1938. He was transferred to Jagdgeschwader 26 Schlagiter, JG 26, 26th Fighter Wing, a year later and was appointed adjutant of the 3rd. Gruppe, 3rd Group. He fought in the Battle of France and received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross following his 20th aerial victory and during the Battle of Britain. He died of wounds following a mid-air collision during combat near Mnesi, Tunisian on 23 March 1943. Hermann Hogback, the 25th of August 1914, the 15th of February 2004, was a German bomber pilot during the Nazi era. He flew more than 100 operational sorties during the Spanish Civil War and 500 during World War II and was a recipient of the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves and swords of Nazi Germany. Hogback's last service position was commander of the 6th Bomber Wing. At the outbreak of World War II on 1 September 1939, Hogback was back with 3 slash LG-1 where he flew the He-111 in combat missions in the invasion of Poland. His Gruppe, group, converted to the then new Junkers Ju-88 at the beginning of 1940. He flew further combat missions in the Battle of France. In summer of 1940 he flew missions against England in what would become the Battle of Britain, including 28 missions over London. On 12 August 1943 Hogback was appointed to succeed Oberst Walter Storp as Jeschwader Commodore, Wing Commander, of Kampfschwader 6, KG 6, 6th Bomber Wing, and was promoted to Oberstleutnant, Lieutenant Colonel, with effect from 1 May 1944. Between 1943 and 1945 every member of Hogback's Junkers Ju-88 crew was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross, making it the most highly and only so decorated crew in the Luftwaffe. Air Gunner Oberfeld Weibel Gunter Glasner, crew member since early 1940, received the Knight's Cross on 31 December 1943, radio operator Oberfeld Weibel Willy Leonard, crew member since March 1941, on 5 April 1944, and observer Farnen Junker Oberfeld Weibel Wilhelm Dippberger, crew member since 1940, on 9 January 1945. Following the German capitulation in May 1945, Hogback was taken prisoner of war by United States Army forces. He was held captive in London, England, and at St. Mary Glees, France, before being released in September 1945. After the war Hermann Hogback studied law and worked in the automobile industry. 13, he died on 15 February 2004 in Dottlingen, Lower Saxony, and was buried with full military honors. Johannes Sweezer, 7 March 1915, 16 August 1991, was a German Luftwaffe pilot during World War II a fighter ace credited with 133 enemy aircraft shot down in 480 combat missions. He claimed all of his victories over the Eastern Front, including over 50 Aleutian Neil Tushtermovic ground attack aircraft. Born in Breslau, Wieser volunteered for military service in the Reichswehr of Nazi Germany in 1934. 
Initially serving in the Heer Army, he transferred to the Luftwaffe Air Force in 1936. Following flight training, he was posted to Jagdgeschwader 52, JG 52, 52nd Fighter Wing, in June 1941 just prior to Operation Barbarossa, the invasion of the Soviet Union. He claimed his first aerial victory on 23 September 1941. On 26 June 1942, Wieser was appointed Staff El Capitan, squadron leader, of the two. Staffel, 2nd Squadron, of JG-52 and received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on 5 January 1943 following his 53rd aerial victory. On the 11th of May 1943, Wieser was tasked with the leadership of Igropa, 1st Group, of JG-52 and was officially appointed its Gruppen Commander. Group Commander, on 13 November 1943. Following his 133rd aerial victory, he received the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross with oak leaves on 2 March 1944. In October 1944, Wieser was posted to the Jeschwadest AB, Headquarters Unit, of Jägerschwader 77, JG 77, 77th Fighter Wing, in defense of the Reich and on 7 November 1944, he was appointed its Jeschwada Commodore, Wing Commander. After the war in 1956 he joined the Bundeswehr and worked for the Military History Research Office. He retired on 10 November 1970 holding the rank of Oberstleutnant, Lieutenant Colonel. Wieser died on 16 August 1991 in Kirchsarten and was buried in Berlin Nikolaussee. A Zeppelin is a type of rigid airship named after the German inventor Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, German pronunciation, TSP Lee N, who pioneered rigid airship development at the beginning of the 20th century. Zeppelin's notions were first formulated in 1874 and developed in detail in 1893. They were patented in Germany in 1895 and in the United States in 1899. After the outstanding success of the Zeppelin design, the word Zeppelin came to be commonly used to refer to all rigid airships. Zeppelins were first flown commercially in 1910 by Deutsche Luftschiffe SAG, DILAG, the world's first airline in revenue service. By mid-1914, DILAG had carried over 10,000 fare-paying passengers on over 1,500 flights. DILAG airship LZ-7 Deutschland, made its maiden voyage on 19 June 1910. On 28 June it set off on a voyage to publicize Zeppelins, carrying 19 journalists as passengers. A combination of adverse weather and engine failure brought it down at Mount Limburg near Bad Eburg in Lower Saxony, its hull getting stuck in trees. All passengers and crew were unhurt, except for one crew member who broke his leg when he jumped from the craft. It was replaced by LZ-8 Deutschland II, which also had a short career, first flying on 30 March 1911 and becoming damaged beyond repair when caught by a strong crosswind when being walked out of its shed on 16 May. The company's fortunes changed with the next ship, LZ-10 Schwobin, which first flew on 26 June 1911 and carried 1,553 passengers in 218 flights before catching fire after a gust tore it from its mooring near Dusseldorf. Other Delag ships included LZ-11 Victoria Louise, 1912, LZ-13 Hansa, 1912, and LZ-17 Saxon, 1913. By the outbreak of World War I in August 1914 1,588 flights had carried 10,197 fare-paying passengers. The Yerkov Lev Yerk 9 Russian, minus 9, is a single engine, 
single-seat multipurpose fighter aircraft used by the Soviet Union and its allies during World War II and the early Cold War. It was a development of the robust and successful Yak-7B fighter, which was based in turn on the tandem-seat advanced trainer known as the Yak-7 Utai. The Yak-9 started arriving in Soviet fighter regiments in late 1942 and played a major role in retaking air superiority from the Luftwaffe's new Falkowulf FW-190 and Messerschmitt Bf-109G fighters during the Grand Battle of Kusk in summer 1943. The Yak-9 had a cut-down rear fuselage with an unobscured canopy. Its lighter metal structure allowed for an increased fuel load and armament over previous models built from wood. The Yak-9 was maneuverable at high speeds when flying at low and medium altitudes and was also easy to control, qualities that allowed it to be one of most produced Soviet fighters of World War II. It was produced in different variants including the Yak-9T with the 37mm, 1.5-in, cannon and the large caliber Yak-9K with a 45mm, 1.77-in, cannon firing through the propeller hub, which was used for anti-tank duty and as a potent aircraft destroyer, the fighter bomber Yak-9B with an internal bomb bay behind cockpit for up to 400 kilograms, 880 pounds, worth of bombs, the long-range Yak-9D and the Yak-9DD with additional wing fuel tanks to escort bombers over Eastern Europe, and the Yak-9U with a more powerful engine and improved aerodynamics. The Yak-9 remained in production from 1942 to 1948, with 16,769 built, 14,579 during the war. The Dornier Du-17 is a twin-engined light bomber produced by Dornier Flugzeugwerker for the German Luftwaffe during World War II. Designed in the early 1930s as a Schnell bomber, fast bomber, intended to be fast enough to outrun opposing aircraft, the lightly built craft had a twin tail and shoulder wing. Sometimes referred to as the Fliegenderblaschtift, flying pencil, it was popular among its crews due to its handling, especially at low altitude, which made the Du-17 harder to hit than other German bombers. The Du-17 made its combat debut in 1937 during the Spanish Civil War, operating in the Condor Legion in various roles. Along with the Hankel He 111 it was the main bomber type of the German air arm in 1939-1940. The Dornier was used throughout the early war, and saw action in significant numbers in every major campaign theater as a frontline aircraft until the end of 1941, when its effectiveness and usage was curtailed as its bomb load and range were limited. Production of the Dornier ended in mid-1940, in favor of the newer and more powerful Junkers Ju-88. The successor of the Du-17 was the much more powerful Dornier Du-217, which started to appear in strength in 1942. Some remaining Du-17s continued in various Luftwaffe roles until the end of the war, as a glider tug, research, and trainer aircraft. A considerable number were sent to other Axis nations, with few surviving the war. 
The last was scrapped in Finland. The Junkers Ju-87 or Stuka, from Sturz Camp Flugzeug, dive bomber, is a German dive bomber and ground attack aircraft. Designed by Hermann Pohlmann, it first flew in 1935. The Ju-87 made its combat debut in 1937 with the Luftwaffe's Condor Legion during the Spanish Civil War of 1936-1939 and served the Axis in World War II from beginning to end, 1939-1945. The Ju-87 operated with considerable success in close air support and anti-shipping roles at the outbreak of World War II. It led air assaults in the invasion of Poland in September 1939. Stukas proved critical to the rapid conquest of Norway, the Netherlands, Belgium and France in 1940. Though sturdy, accurate, and very effective against ground targets, the Stuka was, like many other dive bombers of the period, vulnerable to fighter aircraft. During the Battle of Britain of 1940-1941, its lack of maneuverability, speed and defensive armament meant that it required a heavy fighter escort to operate effectively. Once the Luftwaffe lost air superiority, the Stuka became an easy target for enemy fighters, but it continued being produced until 1944 for lack of a better replacement. By 1945 ground attack versions of the Fall Kavul FFW-190 had largely replaced the Ju-87, but it remained in service until the end of the war in 1945. Germany built an estimated 6,000 Ju-87s of all versions between 1936 and August 1944. 